Welcome back to my channel beauties and welcome if you're new here. In today's video I am super excited. I'm going to be doing an initial review and wear test on the new Ease Jaw Skin Tint. So if you're interested in seeing how well it wears then of course stay tuned. So this is the bottle. The light to medium coverage for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection and it's light as air. These skin tints come in 25 flexible shades. According to her chart, I fall under 16. 16 is described as medium with neutral olive undertones. If I had to read that description alone, I would never have picked up 16. But according to Fenty, okay, she says I'm 16, so I picked it up. But just in case, I went ahead and picked up 18 as well. And 18 is uh, described as medium deep with warm yellow undertones. So I do have very warm yellow undertones, so that's why I went there. So we're going to see. So my skin type is combination oily, in case you don't know. I usually color correct under my eyes. Today I haven't done any color correcting. I'm just going to go straight on with the product. The thing I did use is my Smashbox primer. So the instructions say to shake well and apply a few drops with fingers or the full body foundation brush. We'll try one side with fingers and the next side with the brush. 18 and 16. That's 16 right there. It actually looks pretty good. And this is 18. So I don't know. I low key feel like 18 is going to work better. But because she said 16, we are going to try 16. like so and then I'm gonna use my fingers I never use my fingers but let's try <laughs> all right it literally feels like lotion it feels like lotion like you're just rubbing lotion on your face I've never worn a skin tint just FYI so this is a completely different experience for me yeah, that's 16. It has some kind of scent, but I don't really know what. Like it doesn't smell like it was intentional. I don't know. It's really, it's a light scent, but this, it feels really good on my skin. It feels literally like I just applied lotion to my skin, like how I would apply my sunscreen. Very light. Um, it's there. And I did get a really light coverage, but I like it. It's kind of, it's definitely blurring. So this is no makeup. And this is the makeup. It, even, it definitely just evened out my skin tone. If you can see it, it literally just brought my skin tone together. I like that. I'm gonna go on the next side with a brush. Wow, it just disappears so easily. Literally just disappears. This is so beautiful. It definitely looks the exact same. Usually when I apply foundation with a brush, I'll have more coverage. I find like it looks the exact same. Literally, I feel like there is nothing on my skin at all. And maybe that's the point of the skin tint. Don't, don't get mad at me if that is the point of the skin tint. But like I said, I've never worn one before. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit more so we can see how buildable the coverage is. If you're gonna apply it with your fingers, of course, you're gonna have to keep some wipes on hand. But it does work the same with a brush, so that's a good thing. So you definitely feel like you're applying like a sunscreen on your skin, but once it sets just like a, just like a good sunscreen, you don't feel that anymore. You're not feeling like there's any type of greasy residue or anything like that. So that's a good thing. I'm just gonna finish my face real quick and then I'll go on the rest of my day and come back and show you how it wears in a few hours.
I have, okay, so the only things I have on is concealer, blush, and lipstick. I want you guys to see this skin tint in its full glory. Like, it is just so beautiful. Those of you who know, know that my favorite looks are no makeup makeup looks. So this is just completely up my alley. I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna set this side of my face and then I'm gonna leave the next side as it is, okay? So I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. That's what I always use. It's very light, super light. And I'm just gonna go ahead So that didn't add no extra coverage, as you can see, but if I was to set my entire face, that's what I would use, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm so excited, I love it. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and press the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking this video so far. I'm going to go about my day now, and I'll be back to show you guys how well it wears. Everything, if I'm missing anything, it will be in the description box below as well. So check that out. Don't forget to check that out. The time is now 9.59. So I'll see you in a bit. The time is now 5.37. And this is how my face is looking. So yeah, my nose is like an oil slick, so I had to blot that, but el everywhere else here, you can see the oils coming through, and um, this is the side that I had set with powder. There's not that much of a difference, I don't know if you guys can see, but one difference for sure is around my mouth, it's separating, definitely really separating here, but I am a combo oily girl, like I said, so... I usually have to set. I feel like if you are dry skin, you're going to be perfectly fine without setting if you normally don't. For me, I am going to have to definitely set it. But for it to be, what, seven hours? And this is what it's doing, except for like my note. I'm not mad at it. This is wearing just as good as some of my other foundations. So I took some pictures as you guys seen and it photographs really nicely, actually. Let me know your thoughts, how you feel like it looks on me, how you feel I did with the shade. Are you planning on picking this skin tint up? It's, it's beautiful. Fenty did it again, as always. So yes, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, of course, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.